Hi folks, and welcome back. Today we are going to be assembling my foundation base. This style of base is called a faceplate. It does not need a lining or attachment method, you only need to pad the forehead to fit. I've pre-cut my pieces for the purposes of this video. You will need a respirator with filters rated for VOCs when using contact adhesive. Extra new blades are good to have on hand too. The pieces you can see me moving away here are from my domestic cat base, Dex. Look out for that, I'm working on the PDF currently. We'll feature a modified version of this foundation base. Assembly will, however, be the same. This base features build spots in a contrasting colour which are later cut off. I will have a video out soon about how to use this base to pattern a foam head for yourselves. I have also added extra ventilation holes, similar to a 3D printed base. I used a half inch round drag punch for leather. There is no guide for these holes, as location is mostly personal preference. For your first time making this, you might want to forgo them until you know where your padding will sit. You can see here the type of bevel that needs to be cut, for the piece labelled face. It's important you cut this out correctly. Your pattern needs to be traced on your working side where you will do your foam construction. The bevel should be visible from the inside only. This is so you don't get a piece of eva pressing into your nose. Make sure you correctly orientate the piece labelled forehead as well. It looks symmetrical, but it's not. The bar here always sits at the top. Make sure you trace all centre lines and markings. These will help you line up your pieces and aid your symmetry in your foaming stages. I forgot to mark these lines on the seams too. It's very important to do this so everything lines up right. I'm also taking the thickness of the foam and using that as a depth guide for the glue seam which will sit on the inside of the face. You could cut this edge as a bevel and also add one to the curve on the chin piece too if you wish to do this step without measuring. Now that all my prep is complete, I add a layer of glue to the pieces as indicated in the glue application guide in the PDF. I do apply two layers of glue in places I feel need a reinforced bond. This entirely depends on the brand of contact adhesive you use. Make sure you know or test your glue's property strength before you start this build. It will save you wasting materials if your glue fails the stress test. The 
chin and face are the first pieces I attach. Firmly press your seams and once attached, add one of the supports positioned on the overhang as highlighted in the PDF. The forehead is then firmly pressed onto the forehead band. Double check the orientation, the horizontal line sits closest to the band seam. It should look like this. We are now going to attach the forehead to the face. Match your circle notches and firmly press the seam. Now bring the side down to meet the notch markings on the face. The last step is to attach the two remaining support strips on the back. You can use these strips to hold the base while you are foaming your head. That's it, you're done. You can now use the DIY pattern template guide to draft your own head. Wait 24 hours for your glue to fully dry or fume off before you start adding foam to the base. This is my dex base. It was built on an early prototype of this foundation base. You can see the padding I used for the inside of the head here too. There will be excess foam you'll have to cut away from the face and chin too. Wait until your foaming is done before you do this. If it feels tight, don't worry. The base will relax into its final shape after the supports are cut. It will splay roughly 10mm once they are gone. Wait 24 hours before patterning your fur after cutting the supports. It's at this stage your base is fully stable and ready to pattern your fur. If you would like to give this a go, you can find my PDF pattern available to purchase in my Etsy shop, linked below. If you do, please use the hashtag MadeWithMissRars, I'd love to see what you make. Please be aware this is a digital PDF pattern there are no physical materials supplied, but you must purchase these separately at your own discretion. I've added a very helpful link to firstfitmaterials.com. You can find a database there for materials from all over the world. I hope you guys found this helpful, and thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.